Hello everyone, this is Bowser Galaxy 10 and Damien. <laughs> Welcome to our Let's Play of Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. <laughs> so, I discovered this game not sort of from a snowman gaming video. But not really. It was actually. Oh, okay. I think he mentioned the, this game in the video. And so I just was going through the comments, and someone in the comments was like, This is one of the best. This is like the best game I played all year. And I was like, Huh. So I looked it up, and I was like, Oh, this looks really cool. And then <laughs> got it. And I beat the game, and like, I had beaten the game like two days later. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh... And what lots if, of Castlevania vibes from that. <laughs> and what, what I found out about this game, this is actually technically the fourth game in the Momodora series. It's a prequel to the other three games. Oh yeah, oh it's like a Yakuza 0 thing where it's like that was like the fifth game of the series, but it's like it's a prequel so anyone could start with it. Yeah. And about having to go through like six games worth of plot. And interestingly, the first Momodora game, it was the developer's first ever finished project. And it was basically a cave story clone. Ah, oh, yep. <laughs> That'd probably do it. And by the way, the first two games are actually completely free. And the third game is only $2 on Steam. Ah. I, I have not actually played any of them though. Get any of those though. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna play at normal. Uh, I've beaten the game on hard, but it's pretty difficult. This game is not easy at all. Alright. So I'm gonna play on normal just so we don't die to the same boss like 20 times. Alright. <laughs> right. So, anything before we start on how much you're doing? Um, I'm going to show as much story content as I can. I'm not getting all the collectibles. I'm especially not as far as I can take you. Especially not the boss items, which I will explain in a bit. I'm sorry. Anything close to this city is too dangerous. Surely that shouldn't be a problem for a priestess like you. Fighting using a leaf must be difficult. I have faith in your ability to seal the curse away. And it's spread to your land too, after all. But now maybe the best you can do is seek an audience with our queen. I'm sorry, anything close to the city is now maybe. So, shout out to Big! A uh, Metroidvania. We're going back to the previous area. Is not really useful, <laughs> does it? Oh, okay. That's that's the map. I just took a screenshot. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what all the buds are because it's didn't it different. give you a freaking thing? Yeah, I didn't look at chose? it. I didn't look at it. Okay. Before you were supposed to select. <laughs> I assumed it would be exactly the same as it with. With my Xbox controller, I didn't think about the facts that the... That's probably the only thing that's different, actually. Otherwise, it's probably exactly the same. Uh, you have a maple leaf. A sacred leaf harvested from the Lund tree. These leaves, blessed by the matriarch, are indestructible. Sharp enough to purify enemies, it is the main weapon of Western priestesses. What about Eastern Priestesses? <laughs> and Northern Priestesses? And Western Priestesses? <laughs> okay. Double jump! It took me way too long to realize that there's little leaves that fall when you double jump. Well, that's a that's a nice detail. <laughs> I literally didn't notice until like my second playthrough. <laughs> Well, it makes sense, considering what the sc the thing that just happened <laughs> of you not looking. <laughs> it makes sense. So we got Yestus Flask, I mean Bellflower. Bellsprout. 
So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. The, this this game actually has a little. This this is a game that a new series that basically <laughs> introduced a little bit of Souls mechanics in terms of how items work, how your consumable items work. You basically get them all back at a, at the save point. I'm definitely not biased with him thinking bows are really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not bias, what do you mean? <laughs> you can also charge up and shoot three at once! By the way, spikes, instant death. Yep, that's a cave store thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd be before we get to the cave story in Triggers. <laughs> so you can save bells by either hitting up and then selecting save. Or hit them. Or you just hit it! You cannot hit with arrows though. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. Hitting a bell with a leaf makes it ring, but hitting it with a steel arrow does nothing. <laughs> By the way, those bombs, uh, the bombs they throw, uh, will poison you, and poison is very dangerous in this game. Uh, it does, it will, it, it'll, right now it'll probably take about two-thirds of my health over time, and it can kill you. So what are the purple crystals they're dropping? Oh, that's, that's money. Oh. <laughs> uh. So, uh... A Droidvania. <laughs> Why can't Momodora crawl? <laughs> Secret area! Hey, I got an energy check! I mean, a vitality fragment! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting all of those. Okay. That's basically the. Those are basically the deciding factor of. I'm not gonna. That was where I just basically decided. Yeah, we're not 100% out. <laughs> because uh, these look like the little RPG really protagonists. I love them. <laughs> They're adorable. Murder them all. <laughs> Uh, I can't actually that get back up. Okay. Too. By the way, once you go down here, you can't get back up. <laughs> Until much later in the game. Ah, uh, it's that kind. Wobbly fighting Tomato Totoro. <laughs> I think it actually is called, like, a Tomato Goblin or something. I think that's the actual name of the enemy. Like, the, the smaller ones are tomato goblins, and that's a giant one. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I was just saying it because it was red. <laughs> hey, uh, Astral Charm, and I just pressed the roll button by accident. First death of the run! Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I, I will probably fall into a spike pit oh for dumb reasons again at some point. It will probably happen. <laughs> Pay attention! I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> Don't forget the health. This is gonna be a fun one, I can already tell we get two highlights in the first part and it's both Joel screwing up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, now we gotta fight him again. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, that thing so well the first time. Yes, please point that way if you're gonna start rolling and you're dead. I have definitely never gone through this area of transition and rolled into the spikes. Why do you ask? <laughs> that actually reminds me of, of, of I believe. That actually reminds me of Super Gaming Brothers of Zelda 2, where there's this one thing, and Super Gaming Brothers was like there. <laughs> there was a time where I had where I was playing this on an emulator, had fast forward on, ran through the town, ran straight into the water pit <laughs> for instant death. <laughs> where it's like, yep, screen transitions are fun. Yeah, got an ivory bug! My goal is to get 15 and then I probably won't get all 20. What's the point? <laughs> uh, you get item, you get rewards for him. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what the reward for all 20 is. They we get still there. look like some RPG really protagonist. <laughs> Ryan the Head. Boom. Headshot. Yeah, I'd be the kind of person who sees... Oh, that's how I got one of the health fragments. Time to slash at every possible wall. <laughs> well, usually, usually there's like a hint. Like with these two, you, you can like, if you look at the map, there's an area uh, to the okay. side of it that you can't, that doesn't appear to be there. No, uh, okay. So that's like your hint. I have no business with you. Go away, you stupid girl! <laughs> By the way, uh, there's a rare chance that, that somewhere in this area, I don't remember exactly where, uh, there'll be like a little spider guy that shows up and you can kill him. Don't kill him. <laughs> because he, if you don't, if you, he, he has a shop in a different area and if you kill him, he doesn't show up there. Or at least that's as far as far as I could tell. That seems to be the case. I couldn't find it on the wiki or anything, but I did kill him, and then he didn't show up later. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, that gives me some Resident Evil Four flashbacks, where if you kill the merchant, he never shows up again. <laughs> Stranger, why'd you kill me? So random useful thing. Uh, the jump attack does hit slightly above. Kaho, which is the name of the character, by the way. Oh. <laughs> so I was doing Metroid my, my own my own Metroid thing of why can't Momodora crawl? <laughs> Assuming her name was Momodora. <laughs> you know, fun th Golly. funny thing is, is the other protagonists of the series are Isadora and Momo. <laughs> So, ah. <laughs> you know, this is the one game where that's not the case. <laughs> so we are not playing as Dora the Explorer. <laughs> How many times have you heard that joke? <laughs> I think I've heard it like once, maybe. <laughs> From me. <laughs> Red Shield boss fight coming up. <laughs> Ow. Is the ball a weak spot? It is actually. You can only hit you can only hit it with your swings at you. It does a lot, you do a lot of extra damage. It's pretty hard to do, though, well, honestly. I'm not very good at it. And that attack does, like, a ton of damage, so it's pretty risky. <laughs> she doesn't have a lot of damage by herself. Uh, yeah, the ball does, like, 80% of your health. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, like, from this, how far you'd be dead? <laughs> uh, maybe. It'd be really close if not. Jeez. Ah! I got poison! Okay, I can see why poison's bad. <laughs> I did it! 
So but we didn't even hit that. <laughs> what did break? So I'm gonna talk about boss items now. So with every boss in the game, uh, if you beat the boss without getting hit, you get a bonus item. The, you you get an extra item. The bot the and they usually have the, the, the with the item description they actually talk a, with one one exception they give you like little lore bits about the boss. All basically. right. So the item for Adea is Adea's pearl, which makes your uh, arrows cause inflict poison on enemies, mm. and also yourself if you run into them. <laughs> <laughs> so the description is Adea was a sinner who betrayed her own people for such acts she was purged and her body sent to a sacred grove far from home where she became a centipede happy waker Wednesday everybody <laughs> it is actually Wednesday when we are recording this <laughs> okay perfect timing I'm sorry. Who are you? I see. See you are Kaho, huh? What a unique name. Call me Asko. I take it you are un unaware of the situation of these lands. <coughs> Sick status. Imagine status. your journey brought you here in search of the queen. If you really intend to continue further into the kingdom of Karst, beware. A ghastly presence has been enveloping everything. This sacred grove is one of the few untouched spots. Karst City is ahead. As dangerous as it is now, I must visit it to search for a beloved one. <coughs> Poison status inflicted. <laughs> Ah, uh, what Blood a nice moon. and what a nice white moon. Blood moons are cool. The blood moon rises once again. <laughs> God damn. a typo. I always wonder if that's a typo, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, crystal state increases attack by 50%. It, it makes you resistant to status ailments. Not immune, by the way. It just, as far as I can tell, it makes it so when it would be inflicted, there's a chance you don't. Ah, uh, okay. And this uh, makes a little, like, sound whenever you enter an area and there's a hidden item there. Uh, okay. It's very useful on a first playthrough. <laughs> but I probably won't get it because I have a map. And yeah, yeah. I also know where most stuff is anyway. <laughs> because I played through this game like five times. Thank you! So I'm going to take the crystal seed. That's the wrong button. Soft seed made of crystal. Quite difficult to grow into an adult tree due to its delicacy. Oh yeah, and a sour flower with restorative powers. Bale sprout. <laughs> it's a witch! And now she's dead. It's a wolf! Ghost wolf. Ghost wolf. Wolf. <laughs> Karst crest. Needed to pass. I do not recommend jumping off of this because you tend to land on top of this wolf. <laughs> uh, is this one where touch damage is a lot worse than it should be? Uh, it does a decent amount of damage. Uh, by the way, you do not take touch damage if the enemy is unaware of you or if they're staggered. Uh, okay. Yeah, this room is pretty nasty. <laughs> I 
I can tell. I may or may not have died like 15 times when I first played through here. <laughs> Wow, 15. I'm looking at this and I'm like, I wouldn't get past that freaking room. Mostly because I tried to murder everything. I mean, I don't really know how many times. Does the other I guy just not talk? <laughs> oh, that was a man to me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not talk? No, because he's an enemy. Make this stop. I think that's a lady. Make this stop. I think she's like Sabi. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I thought that was a mustache. Honestly, uh, I didn't realize yeah, that was her hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought that was that's a mustache on some weird red dude. <laughs> so uh, I want you all to remember this character. Super boss. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Oh, the, the bombs make Atari! They turn you into the Atari. Do not go down here yet. <laughs> this little piece of advice. Hey, more bell flowers. You want to go here and save and then go back. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't do it. laughs> Looks like some outsider missionary. <laughs> You're a rotten corpse. We'll serve my mistress well. If you can give me the thing, I can tell you. You can do boss descriptions while you fight it. Yeah, uh, he, uh, he doesn't really have. Uh, it, his is just based, it's just like, it's a tasteless object. Okay. It's called the Bach, Bachman Patch. It's actually an extremely, like, they abuse the heck out of it in speedruns. <laughs> oh it's no, he has ridiculous. a Toho attack! It's pretty ridiculously powerful. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought those were gonna aim at you, and I was like, oh god. Yeah, Roka's not too not too difficult, honestly. You could kind of just hit him and still he. You could try to just hit him until he telegraphs his attacks and then back away. This fight is a bit harder. <laughs> this half of the fight is a bit harder. Oh, hi, person from the artwork. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So why are we hitting our chest? <laughs> I don't know, why do they mean. bounce with every attack? <laughs> why are there a bunch of... If you want to see more of this character, just look her up on DeviantArt.com. <laughs> She's probably there. Probably. <laughs> you little, you little pest. I can't waste any more time with you. And then she exploded. No, she just left. Oh. I can't tell if that was a disintegration or not. She is not dead. Okay. She will be back. Giant truck. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Where did the truck come from? Why does she have a truck? I used to have a leaf! What are you looking at? I'm human, like you. You don't seem very capable of protecting yourself. Take my word and look for shelter. My name is Kath. I'm a knightess in, surf of, in service of the kingdom. So, you're a priestess from Lund, and you're seeking the queen's aid? <laughs> you think she has any interest in your little village? 
Well, here's some bad news. I've heard rumors of an undead witch lurking around. You mean unlike the 50 I fought? <laughs> Progressing deeper into the city is very risky. And she's referring to her Lubella. <laughs> The boss I just fought. Uh, you are adamant about meeting with the queen. My advice only goes so far. No one wants to be in this forsaken city any longer. Our entire kingdom feels like a grave. The death count keeps going up daily. I don't have much left other than the memory of my sister, Catherine. So let me get this straight. Your name is Kath, and your sister's name is Catherine. I'm sure there was surprise absolutely no. I'm surprised there was no, there was no confusion growing up, whatsoever. Surprise, Vincent face. Anyway, we're 26 minutes in. <laughs> okay, we could probably end the episode here. All right. Yeah. See you guys next time. One moment, Dora. The three under the moonlight.